I recently made a video about this Apple Cinema display, and you guys seem to like it a lot, so we're going to take another stroll down memory lane today, mostly because I found this box while I was cleaning up my office this weekend, and I don't know where I got it from. I didn't know what it was. I obviously knew what it was, but didn't know its origin, so we're going to learn about this adapter here, this DVI to ADC adapter, and kind of geek out on some fun trivia. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be learning about this DVI to ADC adapter, find out what it is, where it came from, and more importantly, what it can still be used for today. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at what it looks like. And like I said, I don't know where I got this from. I'm sure somewhere along the lines I purchased something and, uh, you know, maybe a, a power book or, or something. And they probably included this in, not knowing that I would need it or not. But this is what it looks like. Very, uh, very Apple reminiscent. It looks exactly like one of the chargers from the uh, MacBook Pros and stuff. But we're going to see what this thing is, what connectors it's got on it, and like I said, what it can be used for today. But before we look at that, let's talk about the press release that Apple made when this thing came out. So I'm going to read you some of the sections of this press release. Let's, let's start it off here. Apple Today announced, and this is April 29, 2002, Apple Today announced the Apple DVI to ADC adapter which enables customers to use Apple award-winning lineup of all-digital flat panel displays, including the stunning new 23-inch Cinema HD display with the new PowerBook G4 via its integrated Digital Visual Interface, or DVI port. The Apple DVI to ADC adapter also provides the ability to add a second Apple flat panel display to selected PowerMac G4 configurations, including models with the new NVIDIA GeForce 4 titanium graphics processors. So... We talked about this, this cinema display uh, last week, but the ones that we talked about previous to that, or the ones that came up before this, the ones that had the plastic look to them, kind of the clear polycarbonate you know, sides to it that came out just before this one, they all used ADC connectors. Now an ADC connector is this right here. This is the female part of it. So the on the monitor itself, it would have the plug that goes into this. And what's special about ADC, it's very similar to DVI, but it also carries on it power and USB. So it's all in one connector. So that's kind of neat. Apple kind of made something that's, you know, Apple always gets complaints about being proprietary, but they don't do it for nefarious reasons. They do it because they think that this connector is going to be better. So maybe they made a better connector and the rest of the industry didn't use it, or, or maybe they were being nefarious. Who knows? But the ADC connector carries USB, power, and DVI, and to get that to work with a modern computer that has DVI or as their newer laptops like the uh, G4 PowerBooks came out with DVI connectors on them, then we have to have some way to convert that. And that's what this used for. So let me read a little bit more from the press release. It says the DVI to ADC adapter is a compact device that measures five inches square. This is, this is a compact device. Imagine having this having to carry this thing around in your laptop bag or something. And this is this is heavy. This is heavier than any uh, charger that I've, I've used for MacBook Pros. So it's a compact device that measures 5 inches square and features active components to boost the DVI signal to ensure its integrity for maximum image quality, even when running large, high-resolution flat panels such as the 23-inch, that's the, the large, 23-inch <laughs> Apple Cinema HB, HD display. The adapter includes an integrated power supply, an AC power cord, and a 2 meter cable with USB and DVI. So, so that's what it's got on it. We plug the monitor into here, and I wish I had one of those monitors to show you guys, but I don't. Uh, maybe I'll have to keep an eye out for one. But you plug the monitor into here, and then the other end of the cable has the DVI adapter which would go into your computer, and we've got the USB. So if you plug both of these into your laptop, perhaps, and then your monitor into here, and of course, 
the other side of here has to plug into the wall. That's what the other cable here is for. And then you can hook up that PowerBook G4 to your new $3,500 23-inch Apple Cinema Display HD. And yes, you heard me right. When that first 23-inch uh, Apple monitor came out, it was over $3,000. And it didn't even have that great of a resolution when you're comparing it to today's monitors. But it did have the ability to plug in USB devices into the back of it, which is why you'd need to plug this into your laptop. So here is, for example, a PowerBook G4. And right on the side there we see that DVI connector. So in, in today's world, you could just plug this right into a DVI monitor, even an HDMI monitor. But if you wanted to use that fancy $3,000 Apple Cinema display, then you'd have to use something like this to convert it because those displays were originally only set up to connect to like the power max that had the adc connector coming out of the, the graphics cards so could you still use one of these today well absolutely if you had one of those old monitors the, again the, the plastic ones that came before this aluminum version then if you wanted to plug anything modern into it you'd have to have something that would convert your dvi to adc because this is the connector that's going to go to that monitor. So I'll keep an eye out for one of those monitors, and if I can find one, then I'll grab one, and we'll go ahead and get this thing hooked up, and we can maybe plug in one of these Mac Minis here, one of these more modern Mac Minis, right into one of those old-fashioned 20-year-old, and, and even more than that, 20-something-year-old monitors. So that's going to wrap up this fun little episode. So if long story short, if you want to hook up your $2,000 laptop to your $3,000 monitor, then you have to buy this $150 adapter, and that's what this thing cost when it came out. It's $150, which seems ridiculous when you can go to Amazon and buy an adapter for four or five bucks uh, shipped free to the house, but for, at the time, this was the only way to do it. So for now, this is going to go back up onto my shelf until I can find the right monitor for it, and then we'll get it out and play with it again. So thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you like this kind of geeky stuff, this kind of history of Apple weird devices stuff. And if you want to see more of that kind of weird Apple stuff, then go ahead and hit subscribe because I'd find this stuff all the time. But thank you as always for watching, and until next time, peace out and geek out.